Two special hospitals in Southwest Florida offer volunteers the chance to get up close and personal with the patients. And these patients are really wild. Sick and injured wild animals receive a second chance at the Conservancy of Southwest Florida's Wildlife Rehabilitation Center in Naples and the Clinic for the Rehabilitation of Wildlife, or CROW, on Sanibel. Our mission from the beginning has always been rescue, rehabilitation, and release. I emphasize to anyone who asks me about CROW, we're not a zoo, we're not a nature center. We are a wildlife hospital, and our goal is always to get that animal back to the wild. This year at CROW, we will treat approximately 4,100 patients, and we take in about 170 different species. Hopefully we can give them the same respect, the same care, and hopefully the same quality of medicine that you just wish for in a human hospital. Both wild animal hospitals have operated for more than 30 years, and both centers have noted a dramatic and disheartening jump in the number of patients they treat each year. 90% of the animals that come in are injured due to some type of human interaction, um, whether it's hit by cars, pet attacks, collisions with windows, um, fishing line and fishing hook injuries. So you've got so many more people now, so many more roads, less space for the animals, habitat loss, is a major problem for many and many of these species. Now we see about 2,500 a year, so it's really busy. With an ever-increasing patient load, both hospitals rely heavily on volunteers. I would have to say that the volunteers are the real backbone of this facility. You couldn't run Crow just on volunteers, but we couldn't run Crow without our volunteers. So they're vital, they're absolutely vital to the running, the smooth running of this organization. Both clinics depend on volunteers who don't mind getting their hands dirty. Well, people have the misconception they're coming to Crow and they're going to hold a warm, fuzzy animal. They are not. Basically, what we're going to do is the day-to-day -day things that need to be done for an animal. We're going to clean the cages. We're going to provide them with food. We're going to rake. We're going to do laundry. Laundry, major part of being at Crow. If you don't like dirty towels, you don't belong here. It is grunt work, and there is no other way to describe it. Although most of the volunteer jobs are far from glamorous, helping keep the animals clean and comfortable offers special rewards. They're outdoors, and it's kind of fun for them because you're in the enclosure with the animal one-on-one. -on -one. So you're not handling them, and most of them don't want you in there with them, but you still get to be 20 feet away from a bald eagle or a great blue heron or gopher tortoise, and, and that's the, the neat part of it. They've just made it better for the animal, whether it was having to scrub a cage or going to pick some grass or go find pine cones for a squirrel. They've just made it a little better for them here, and that's obviously why they're here. Cleaning is a top priority, but volunteers also help with the care and feeding of the animals. We hold them while they, they medicate them. We also tube feed them, you know, like the, the um, pelicans or the other birds. We also um, feed baby squirrels, possums and um, we do the diets. We have a board that we go by and each animal gets a different type of diet depending on what, what they eat. Both the Conservancy and Crow also conduct programs aimed at preventing wildlife injury or death. We also have our volunteers who work in our wildlife pavilion so they educate the public about what we're doing here and all of our volunteers do that on some level. Um, you can't do rehab without educating. It's, it's, that's a major part of what we do. Although the volunteers clearly care about their wild animal patients, they quickly learn to avoid emotional attachments. 50% of them will die of injuries and stuff, but it doesn't bother me. It's just like being a doctor in a hospital. You do not want to form an attachment personally for that animal. This is a wild animal. This is not a dog, a cat, a, a pet ferret, or anything like that. Do we get depressed? A fur fix will usually do it for you which means you get to hold a little tiny mouse or a little tiny squirrel or a little tiny possum just for a few minutes. Like any hospital, the Conservancy relies on volunteers, even for vital veterinarian services. Most of our vets have been volunteering with us for probably almost 20 years. We always have to call on the vet for x-rays. Right now we still don't have an x-ray machine on site and for invasive surgeries. We're never gonna do any of that on our own. Um, if a wing or a leg needs to be stabilized with pins and things like that, we're definitely going to the vet for that. We're very lucky here at Crow to have two staff veterinarians who are trained in wildlife medicine. This is all we do, we work here. We don't 
have a private practice. We don't do dog cat medicine. We just do wildlife. Uh, and that is unique. Uh, also, the fact that we uh, practice integrative medicine. We integrate Chinese medicine with Western medicine uh, to do what's best for our patients. There are times when Western medicine is the way to go, time when Eastern, but most of the time they work together. We may use a pain medication when an animal comes in with trauma, but we also may use homeopathy, some acupuncture, some Chinese herbs. So these animals, I think, get the best of, of both worlds. The best part for me is to know that that animal's not suffering. Uh, and if I can get them back in the wild, that is icing on the cake. That's the goal of both hospitals, getting the animals back into the wild. Because they all play a part. I mean, they really do. Everything is tied together and you stop seeing certain species and it's going to have a whole different effect on the environment that nobody thought of and it's just going to cascade. It doesn't matter if it's a tiny bird or if it is a bobcat. The feeling is the same. Crow wasn't here, you weren't here to help. Those animals wouldn't have that opportunity. Helping wildlife, no matter what the job, motivates these dedicated volunteers who perhaps receive back even more than they give. I think volunteers want to come and, and work at Crow or any rehab center because it's a sense of giving back. I think people understand that we abuse the planet, we abuse the wildlife, and it's their way of, of helping in some small way. I just want to do everything that I can, and if it's doing laundry or, you know, cleaning out raccoon poop or whatever, that's what I'm going to do. And I have a very strong stomach. <laughs> Rewarding is, uh, it is the day-to-day -day thing that you do. Um, and at times you will say to yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I down on my hands and knees scrubbing this cage, which is absolutely disgusting and making me gag? For the staff and volunteers at these special hospitals, the ultimate satisfaction is not the feeding or the nursing or the cleaning. It is the simple act of watching a wild thing go home again. That is what it's all about, the release. And I've been on several releases, and let me tell you, it never gets dull.